bad girl. <laughs> what do we see today, guys? So what do we see today, guys? The trailer for Rhythm Section. But aside from that hilariously bad trailer, we saw Queen and Slim. So what were our expectations going into it? I liked the trailer. I thought it was going to be decent. I was intrigued. I wasn't expecting it to like make a huge splash. Yes, but I thought same. it was going to be pretty good. I feel the same way. I feel yeah. like it looked interesting, but I didn't expect like greatness. Yeah, uh, it wasn't like I wasn't like in a a bind. I didn't need to see it, but I really wanted to see it. You know what I mean? We all have a free Thursday every now and then. Yeah, and usually I was like, every Thursday. I was like, you know, let's go see Queen and Slim. You know. So we did. And what did we think of the movie? I thought it was overall pretty good. I think I'd give it a very positive score. For okay. What it was, I really enjoyed the acting. Oh yeah, fantastic. Fantastic. I mean, we already know Daniel Kaluuya is a very talented man. Hundred percent. But the uh, the girl who played uh, Angela Johnson, aka Queen, I guess they're never referred to as Queen and Slim at any point in the movie. That's so true. I'm gonna look up her name so that we can get it right. Jake, what I, about you? I thought the movie was okay. Um, it could have been a lot better, but it also could have been a lot worse. That's the thing. It's one of those like where it kind of rides the line of being okay at best. It there's a lot of really weird, strange editing choices, and we'll get oh, into specifics. Yeah, there are. We'll get into specifics, but I think the thing that really stands out as probably the most annoying one is the runtime and the pacing this movie moved glacially and not in a nice slow burn irishman best movie of the freaking year it's not true the lighthouses but not in a slow burn nice way it's more pacing in the sense that scenes i don't want to say repeated but could have been cut out entirely and the story wouldn't have changed there were yeah. so many things that just didn't need to be there and so many scenes that went on three times longer than they should have I can, off the top of my head, name at least one scene that I think could be entirely cut and not change the movie whatsoever. Mm -hmm. That's fair. It's their, uh, it's, I guess, the, you could call it their first encounter with that um, father and son duo. Yep. I mean, sure, the father's a fun character or whatever, but so th I, there's nothing to it. I think we all generally like the movie, so unless... Uh, I, didn't, I didn't hear much from you. Yeah, though. I didn't say anything because I actually loved it. Oh, I'm wow. the exact okay. opposite of both of you. You okay. thought it was good. I'm, a, I'm more. I, I loved him. it. Okay. I thought it, I didn't mind the pacing and that it was slow. I thought it was like a nice character, um, a, like not one character specifically, but like good interaction between the characters and their journeys together, mm -hmm. and like how they completely are different characters by the end of the movie. I thought it was really interesting. I really liked the character study and the vessel that they used to examine these characters was the political statement and i thought that was really interesting since we all have i guess positive opinions i think we should start with negatives i kind of already have that's let's the thing. let's talk about the editing let's talk Th about there's the editing some awkward choices i want to start i think we might have the same problem there's some voiceover in this film <laughs> yeah, that comes out of nowhere several times i don't even want to call it voiceover it feels like the dialogue in the scene they suddenly just start having like telepathic conversations that's what i thought yeah <laughs> but there's so too. the I one the one that got to me is also the first one where yeah it's not set up queen well. starts talking yep and the shot is on slim and then it cuts to queen and she is still talking her mouth is not moving yep, yep. and then it cuts back to slim and then it cuts back to queen again and now her mouth moves and i'm yep. like did they bad adr but didn't even pay attention i was like did did the editor fuck up it no, looks yeah. like a fuck up. Did, how did that that pass? one looks like a fuck up i like the second one actually when it's the scene, um, I believe it's them in the in the dance hall and they're dancing and the things going on in their conversation that they would be having in the car. Afterwards. I thought it was with the kid when they walked out with the no, kid. That's no, that's the, the third, third one. one. That's There's the third one. The oh second my God. because you don't notice the second one's that because it's good. <laughs> yeah, that one's actually that like good great. because it's a it's just a it's a really long J cut for some reason. Mm -hmm. But like that one works because it is a J cut. But the other one is just like. Then here you go. Yeah, it's them, and it will cut to who's talking without them speaking. <laughs> yeah. And it's so fucking weird, and just why? Yeah. Also, I feel like sometimes the dialogue is a little bit weird. Like, there's a scene where they're getting their car, car fixed. I thought the same And the mechanic the knows who they are, and Slim goes, why didn't you give us a discount? I was like, okay, presumptuous much. Yeah. Exactly. Well, everyone else in the movie had been helping them because of that up to that point. I follow, but when he said that, I was like, bro... Yeah. Calm down. Like, 
You also, did be... they have exactly twenty five hundred dollars on that thing, exactly to a T? So she didn't even have to look in and take out any money. She According to him, yes. So if they had anything over, she's giving away free money for no reason. And if they have anything under, they'd probably tell the guy. So if it, it had to be exact, so that's just a weird coincidence. Or hear me out, bad staging and blocking for the actors. But I don't know. That really, I didn't. It didn't bother me that much. The that logic that exact... really wasn't there. No, that didn't what, bother me. What you're saying with the dialogue too, really kind of like it... there's just some really stinted moments. And then there are some, I'm gonna say abandoned plot lines. Like they meet this kid who's really inspired by them, and then they follow this kid. This is like the closest the movie has to a subplot. This kid shoots a cop in the face. They mentioned that he dies later on. They mentioned that he dies, yeah. and that's it. I was yep. like, what? What? Could I what? think we could have spent more time with that kid? Yeah, and like, Queen and Slim are very shocked to hear this. They're like, yeah. wait, what? We just hung out with him yesterday. And that's it. There's no, like, it's conversation. Dropped. I was like, where's the conversation for, like, the collateral damage they've been calling? Imagine causing. what the dad thinks, the mechanic. Yeah. You don't go back to him at all. Yep. I couldn't, I couldn't tell if they were related or not, because he looked at the kid and he went... Son, <laughs> like, probably son? son. The way it's framed, my actor son. Yeah. Come here. <laughs> it's like it's like in Predator. Listen, kid. I know Listen here, my... fucker. Yeah, right. It's it's you're, that you're, awkward you're, dialogue you're. that doesn't seem like real. It doesn't seem like you know, like how many dads go, "Hey, son." It'd be like, "Hey, buddy," or something. You know, like yeah. actually call the kid his fucking name. And then the son gets out, slowly walks over. Now, when kids are called, they don't pause for 20 seconds walk over and then go yeah they either say yeah or walk over and i know i'm t- it's like a really really teeny nitpick but like it's again it's not really how humans <laughs> it's work just, it's just a weird thing because like later on in the movie they make it clear the mechanic is his actual father yeah but like it does not feel like he's his dad it just feels like this is a kid who hangs out in his shop maybe he's like his apprentice or something which is fine but like when you frame a character dynamic like that i think commentary that's really um more interesting than the subplots and editing of this movie would be what this movie is for the quote-unquote genre that it is now, which yeah. is like, uh, Mud, you were kind of talking about a new era of black exploitation movies. It's fitting into that post-get out, post-blind spotting era that we're um, in right now. Well, I've, that's actually what my senior thesis is about. Really? Yeah. It, I've redubbed it the social genre, where mm-hmm. movies like this well, social justice social justice yeah. is a recurring theme along with ideas about like marginalization and personal identity and cultural Absolutely. identities yep so this is kind of also a continuation of that same kind of subject in the 21 bridges review we were doing which is that black and blue is about corruption with a backdrop of racism 21 bridges is about corruption no racism it's diet corruption <laughs> and then this one is it's about, just about racism, racism? and it does okay. I don't want to say it does a bad job because, like, Ian's bringing up a lot of good points, too. Like, I think it does do a I very good job. I think it does a good job. It's more of the moments where it stumbles. It's mm-hmm. more of the cultural and finding who you are as a person in a society that tries to suppress who you are mm-hmm. more than the corruption racism. I agree with that. So It's more of an identity... I- Identity crisis racism. I wouldn't say it dropped the ball like 21 Bridges. Um, 21 Bridges fucking fumbled hard. 21 Bridges didn't have a ball in the first place. That's true. That is a fact. <laughs> no, think, if you guys know the like... gif of uh, like a Star Trek where they throw something at the robot and it flies past them and then the robot puts their hand up? Yeah, that's, 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 that's what, that was 21 Bridges. Bridges. It just felt like everyone in this movie starts off on edge. Like yeah. already super agitated. That's fair. And, you know, okay, fair. It's, it's a very... You know, these are very trying times we live in. Yeah. And we are white. We're three white boys. That's we true. We definitely don't have the same experience that, you know, the characters would have. But, I don't know. Just, it comes off as, like... All we can commentate on is our impressions of the movie as people who like movies, which is what we are. We are. So, and in that just... sense, zero out of ten! No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> Leaving it in. That's the end of the review. Um, Yeah, no, it just, sometimes it felt like some character actions were unwarranted, I will say. But um, that doesn't t- detract from the really good uh, character drama that this is. I oh, felt 100%. Like they're very both, they're both very complex, deep characters. Even Uncle Earl, who's barely in this movie, he gets a lot of character work, you know? Yeah. Like, you find out a lot about these characters, and I think it's a very good film. I love overall. the characters in this movie. And I, I love the main actors that we see through more of it. They did a fantastic job. Oh, Daniel yeah. Kaluuya, by the way. One yeah. of my favorites. Yeah. Like, just in the scene right now, he's so talented. Oh, yeah. 100% Jody Turner talented. Smith, she played Queen. She was she fantastic. She was great. 
she she had some great scenes. And the music in this movie, sorry, banger alert. Oh, the the soundtrack for this movie is amazing. The sound editing. Do you remember when the song was playing and they shut the door and the song cut right with the door? Yeah, that was <clears> great. <throat> Shit you, like that gets me going. You know what I really liked? I really liked how even though they disguise themselves, it never fucking works once. Yeah. Oh yeah. Because everyone's like, yeah. You're those two people because you look, look like exactly those people. the same. Yeah, you cut your hair. Wow, you don't look like Daniel Kaluuya anymore. <laughs> no, now he looks like Daniel Kaluuya. Now you Kaluuya. look more like Daniel Kaluuya. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, I loved you. And get out, man. Get on the ground. That's literally what it was. But, yeah. like, it, it's that. I, I found that really funny that, like, yeah. it, it, it subverts the expectations. Because, like, they, they meet, like, I don't know, like, four or five groups of people. And they all they just know who they are. And all of them see right through it. And they're like, well, yeah. recognized us. And I'm like, it hasn't worked yet. Why are you surprised now? All right, <laughs> so predominantly I've talked pretty negatively about this. However, this is the best Bokeem Woodbine performance ever. And character. Oh, yeah. I love He's him. He's amazing. He is, he is fantastic. so fantastic. He, he, he steals the show in his scenes. Absolutely. And if anything, this movie has a severe lack of Bokeem Woodbine's character. who's in, like, maybe ten minutes of the movie. And I'm not just saying because he's funny. He's very funny. But also there's a lot of character dramas that you see in that yeah. character. The with interaction him. with him and his niece. And then yep. the interaction with him being a drunk piece of shit. Yep. Like, but lot... then still helping and caring. And you see him crying at the end. Like yep. a, lot of, a lot of Queen's character arc revolves around Uncle Earl. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, God, I think that's very fantastic. I loved him. That's why she's so shut off alone from her family. And it's why she is the way she is at the beginning of the movie. And you get to <laughs> unpack that and understand through the rest of the movie the the character work in this movie is so good that it actually made it negative for me which is the opening scene in the diner could have been longer and i wanted it to be longer that's i fair. wanted more of just small talk between the two of them because mm-hmm. that's that's really what builds their character well we do get more small talk i know as they as does. they progress and like freak out together yeah no i'm not i'm not discounting yeah. all of that yeah. you know as the movie goes on but just that scene and then it cut and i was like no no go back I want to see more. I want to have them talk more. I want to have them interact more. Which, obviously, they do. They're the main characters. They're in every scene of this movie. But, like, that that was how quickly the movie grabbed me. Which I think you, is a very good positive. The if movie you say, drops like, you right in. If you look at, like, the movie's structure and you take out, say, that white couple the um, the um who have the, the house. The shepherds. Flea. Yeah. Flea, yeah. Now, um, the, the house where they hid under the floorboards. And you take out that entire sequence, which is, like, I want to say 15, 20 minutes. The movie's paced a little bit better, and it works better, and those characters don't really return, except for that one shot where they see that they died. That's it. So, like, you could definitely do some things to this movie. I'm not saying that specifically. Yeah, but not that specifically, because I think that specifically is a little... Like I said, the father and son that they meet when they're first fleeing... That could have been. I feel like that should be the part that gets cut, not the. That's definitely, but it's shorter. Yeah. You know, I think you can cut down on all the establishing shots for as beautiful as they are. I really like them though. But when there's four in a row, there's like a bunch of music video esque kind of scenes where it's yeah, it's a lot of transitional. Well, it's 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 the way to establish the travel, I guess. And I think it's important to to get the distance that they've been going. I understand that, but sometimes it's just like, okay. Yeah, and fair. sometimes the shots would be very similar. Yeah. So for like half a second, I'm like, what, did they go back? Mm-hmm. Understandable. Because you know? it would be like, forest, beach, forest. And I'm like, what? what? It's understandable. I really like the way those scenes are edited, though. The um, in-between transition scenes. Yeah, those are well edited. With the music, like you hear it with the of the drum, it changes the scene, changes yeah, the scene, changes the scene. Yeah, I remember that one. The There's some, also some amazing camera work. There's a scene oh, yeah. where they're pulled up next to this field. And there's a camera attached to the car door, and the door, the door opens, and then it closes, and the camera just lingers Shakes. on Daniel Kaluuya me, in the passenger Me and you seat. both went, <clears throat> when that happened. I was like, I came from that shot. It's so good. There's a lot of really, really good stuff. Yeah. Like, editing. Not, but um, camera work-wise, like, directorial-wise. Oh, like yeah. This is a very well-made movie, I Yeah, oh, 100%. Yeah. The movie has a lot of production value in mm. that. Yeah. Especially with the soundtrack and everything. Soundtrack soundtracks always great. fuck me i was talking to someone the other day and they mentioned how they don't really pay attention to the soundtracks in movies and i'm like that's the most important part because if a soundtrack of a movie sucks ass mm-hmm. what the fuck we all take away different things from a movie yeah. um soundtracks are really important i think soundtracks are dumb important because that's I almost like never notice the soundtrack if this like you remember the action drums I, I don't remember what movie we were watching i'm like yeah play the action drum it was fucking electra 
the action drum. <laughs> I was so bored. Because the action sucked. And my brain was like, oh no, you should be hyped up for this ass. And I'm Didn't like, no. Didn't they play action drums for unloading her toothpaste <laughs> yeah. onto like the kitchen yes. counter? That's exactly what it was. Yeah. And I was like, this blows. It's like in James Bond. You notice the soundtrack where they're just playing the soundtrack. While yeah, well, I noticed checking that because the it's hotel. like hard electric guitars. He's casually strolling into his like... His fucking uh, hotel room, and it's like. <laughs> but misuse of soundtrack, I feel, can make or break a scene, and I feel like this movie, it made every scene. most of the scenes that it was in. There were some soundtracks where I was like, ah, eh, it's whatever, but like, banger. Mm. I, I feel like soundtracks dumb important. I think this I had movie a strong knocked it out of the park. Very for me. much. Agree. Any closing thoughts, guys? <laughs> All right, so out of ten. Mm. I'm not going first. I recommended the movie. That's fine. <laughs> That's not how this <laughs> works. We all just look to this see it. This isn't dealing strife. <laughs> yeah. Also, Mud wanted us to see the movie. That's true. I'm going to go with, I think, a generous six. Oh, wow. mean. That's low. <laughs> More towards a seven than a five, but, you know, a six. That's fair. Okay. Nine. I like an eight. Yeah, I loved it. It was pretty it's in, good. It's in it's, my top ten. I, I would put it myself. stronger than the sum of its parts. All right, well. We'll see you guys next week uh, for... The Jumanji Trilogy Review. Yes, but in the go. meantime, go see Queen and Slim. It's pretty good. Yeah, 100%.